Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of No Man's Sky. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, so at the end of the last episode, I created this little save point here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete it because I don't need it right now. Well, uh, exciting news on this planet. So we finally have confirmation that uh, we are at least um, getting this extreme survival milestone counter to count down. And in less than a day, we should make it to uh, 16 sols, which will get us to level 6. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, after that, I'm not sure what will happen. Um, I don't know if I have to stay on this planet to get to level 10, or whether I could go to another planet and uh, start there for the next level. I don't know. I asked that question in the last episode, but uh, that episode hasn't even, hasn't even been posted yet as I'm recording this. I like to kind of try to get ahead a little bit. Uh, so, I don't know. I'll probably go try to find an answer to that, but I don't think I'll find it because I've already done quite a bit of research on that, and I have not found uh, a definitive answer, especially um, since the uh, Foundation update came out. Uh, let's see. We are still looking for these records here, and uh, somebody made the comments before about how these are kind of in some kind of order and I did find at least uh, uh, corroboration, is that the right word, of that, uh, that these first six up here appear to be land animals. This one here, Ehenar Nervo, is a uh, air animal. So that means that these two either have to be air, uh, water, or cave. <laughs> really narrows it down, but at least I know that I don't need to be looking uh, on, the, on the planet's surface anymore. We're going to pick up right where we left off, uh, making our way over to this operations center. Um, in the last episode, it was very exciting. Uh, we found water on this planet, which uh, was um, unexpected. I was not expecting to find water, but uh, we did. And so now we're kind of keeping our eyes out for a water, because there could be critters living in the water. It's very possible. Let's take one of our shielding plates and use it to charge this uh, toxin suppressor here. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of um, plutonium because it's right in front of us. There we go. And you know, more critters abound. I keep hoping I'll look up at night and see critters, you know. Uh, but it's not happening. It's not happening, man. These critters are quite elusive, these last two. Two critters! I mean, if it was just one little guy, you know, I could understand that, but there's two that we haven't seen? I find that incredibly hard to believe. But, uh, nevertheless, it does seem to be the case here. Well, that was a pretty good drift there. Caves, um, I don't know, I'm not really finding them on this planet. We find these little holes here like this. Well, that's interesting looking. I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting shaped item. Yeah, it says it's iron. It's not a whole lot of iron. Yeah, only 50 units. I'm going to continue uh, with my uh, scans just to see if any question marks show up. Other things that we could discover and explore while we make this trek. Uh, go ahead and pick up this Tamarium, I guess. Hello, Tamarium. Hello, thank you very much. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I've got a lot of it now. I do see that uh, damaged machinery over there to the right, but I'm not going to bother to mess with it. Because it's just going to tell me something I already know, right? So let's, uh, instead of blasting our way through this time, let's uh, go over top of this 
this rock structure here. If you watched the last episode, you saw that uh, we kind of dug our way through um, a rock structure. It was kind of neat, but also very time consuming. Alright, I need to craft another shielding plate is what I'm doing, right? Shielding plates, is that right? Shielding plate. Might as well go ahead and use up these slots. Because we need to charge both of these. Excellent. Alright. Let's get up over top of this. I kind of hope that uh, I'll get up here and I'll see something I hadn't seen before. But uh, we've been on top of these things before and haven't seen any new animals or anything. I'm not expecting to find any animals on the ground anymore. Including on mountaintops. But you never know. See our freighter up there. That's a neat sight. That is a pretty neat sight. Your freighter! Let's keep moving. That was pretty good drift down there. Didn't hurt ourselves at all. I was worried that I was going to run out of jetpack before we hit the ground. And we we're going to go splat. I, um... I don't like the thought of having to, uh... spend all my time on this planet to get the remaining levels of the extreme survival. I mean, it's a neat planet and all, but um, there's not really a whole lot going on here. I feel like I've gotten a real good sampling of what this planet has to offer. So I kind of like to leave it and go someplace else. But, like I said, I'm not sure if that counter will reset all the way back to zero if I go to another planet. I know it used to do that. But I thought I had heard that that's not the case anymore. However, the way this, the counter acted on this planet makes me think that it, that's still the case. Because, I mean, it took a really, really long time before we saw our extreme survival counter uh, move. Ow. Wow, I ran out of jetpack. Better do something about my life support here. This is why... We pick up Thamium, because we use Thamium for life support. Storm's blown in. I'm not too worried about it. We've got cool uh, guards against that kind of thing. So we're getting close to the operations center. Which is kind of exciting. Uh, I'm not really expecting a whole lot from the operations center. It's just, um, it's just a place to go. It's nice to have goals. That's weird looking. I mean, if I didn't have this operations center to walk to, I'd basically just be walking in some random direction. Probably end up walking in circles. I do like all these colors on this planet. But we're not finding any water. We're not finding any caves. So, I don't know. I, uh, I'm about to give up on finding the remaining critters on this planet. It's just... I don't know, man. It just doesn't seem like it's meant to be. Whoa.
We are kind of in a more mountainous region, it seems like. Um, thought that maybe that was a cave. Not seeing anything in the way of critters. Keep moving. Let's go get this Thamium. Because we need it for life support. Is this a cave? Looks like a cave. I'm not seeing any signs of critters at all, though, you know? Not at all. Craft more shielding plates. Charge these things. Well, let's go see. Yeah, see this? It's not really. It doesn't really go very far. Uh, there is a critter in this direction. Let's see if anything shows up. I mean, it's, it's not much of a cave. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. It's pretty. Now it's daytime, so we've got to be getting pretty close to that milestone. Point two. Yep, we're getting really close. I don't know if those guys have seen any critters that I haven't seen myself. So there's a dot there, but that could be pointing to something on the other side of the mountain. I'm just taking a look. See if there's any water. There's some thamium here. Let's go pick it up. How far away are we now? Eight and a half minutes. Flying along like this really speeds things up. Wish we could do it for longer periods of time. Hello, critters. How are you? What's up, dude? I fed him some food. Just for the heck of it. Did you enjoy that iron I just fed you, dude? Boy, he's very chatty, isn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Off he goes. Boy, he is so excited. Look at him go. He's quite the rambunctious one, isn't he? Look at him go. I mean, you need to calm down, dude. Wow. Wow, dude. Chill. Chill out, man. Okay, he's kind of chilling out. Better do something about that. Crafting stuff. Shooting plates. Now. Alright. Okay, dude. Well, I'm not going to stick around and wait for you to crap or whatever it is you're going to do. We are way up here, man. 
It'd be so cool if we looked up and we saw something flying overhead. Something that only comes out on the tops of mountains and in storms. But no such luck. This is kind of neat. Hey! <laughs> Journey milestone accomplished. Finally rugged. Survived 16 sols in extreme conditions. Finally. So now the question is, can I leave this planet? I would like to. I really would. Maybe go to a planet that's a bit more interesting. Start my search for critters over again. Because this is ridiculous, man. Um, but, you know, I keep saying the same thing over and over again. If the counter resets, I, I don't... I don't know. If the counter resets, then... It's almost like, screw that milestone, you know? That's, that's too much work. I mean, we're at level 16 now there. Not level 16. We've survived 16 souls. We need to survive four more days to get to the next level. I mean, we can do that on this planet, but... Good grief, man. Uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like there's enough to see. I think I think what I'll do is, when we get to this operations center, hopefully there will be a way to call our ship. Man, I hope so. Uh, and we'll call our ship over here. Maybe we'll jump in our ship and we'll fly around. See if we can't find water. Big, bigger bodies of water. And uh, maybe find critters in those bodies of water. I don't know. The only problem with that is, is that when you're in your ship, it doesn't count as, um... It doesn't count as, you know, being out in the elements, so the counter won't go up any. So it's like, why be on this planet if you're not going to be working on getting your counter up? I don't know, man. So many questions, so many decisions to make. Getting close. We're getting really close. Oh, look how blue this guy is right there. It's pretty. Ouch. Yeah, we are really high up. How? Really? I don't even see what hit me. And this thing keeps telling me about a space anomaly over and over again. I thought we'd already visited this space anomaly in this system, but maybe we didn't. I don't know. Pretty excited about finding uh, this operations center. It's been a long trek, man. It's been a long trek. But it is nice that we have the technology to survive in these conditions. We're getting there. Here we are. Uh, looks like a beacon thing is over there. We can call our ship here, thank goodness. Save our uh, progress here at this waypoint. Nice. Search for things that will just fill up our inventory slots, but I do it anyway. Whenever we find ourselves a galactic trade terminal, we're going to have a ton of stuff to sell. Alright. Let's go over here and call our ship here. We're going to need to craft a bypass chip for this. So, let's go ahead and do that. Bypass chip. And we're going to call our ship here. It's as if the ship was following us here all along. Okay, Operations Center. We know what we need to do here. You know, first we need to do something about our life support. And our uh, protections. 
and we need to charge our multi-tool because that's how we're going to get in here. If we charge it, we can use plutonium. Plutonium doesn't do a real good job of charging it, but we've got a lot of it. So, it's an operations center. We need to blast our way into it. It should take us about four hits to get into it. One, two, three, four. Okay, exactly four hits. Okay, let's see if we could answer their question here. The alarm has covered the terminal in unreadable static. I can only make out a few bits of text. There's hopefully enough to make sense of what the last user was working on, which could restore systems. Flight Interstellar Starship. Hyperdrive? Okay. The previous user's workflow is restored. The system comes back online. And we learn about Accelerated Fire Sigma. Boring. I already knew about that. Uh, let's use our uh, Atlas Pass to uh, get into this locked door and see if there's anything interesting in here. And it doesn't look like there is. Boy, that, that Atlas Pass V2 is just a big pile of junk. I have not seen any anything useful come from it at all. Just a huge disappointment, especially so late in the game. Yeah. Lame, lame, lame. Who cares? I mean, this these stupid things used to sit out in the free area. Now I have to pay to get to them. Ooh, 1,300 units. Yay. I do like learning new words, though. Got word for stranger. See? Here's, here's one of them sitting out here. Analyze multi-tool tech. Ooh, impact damage sigma. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah. So, we made it here, which is exciting. Um, what do we do now? Well, I said I was going to get in the ship, so let's go ahead and get in the ship. And uh, we'll just kind of fly low level across this planet. Uh, it's been a long time since we've flown, right? Um, and we'll just kind of fly around a little bit. Look for low-lying areas, maybe with water, um, and uh, see if we can't find large bodies of water on this planet that may have critters in them. We'll do scans every once in a while to see if any question marks show up. See, there was a little tiny bit of water. Oh no, actually, I bet that wasn't water. I bet that's uh, an element. You can't, you can't see what I'm talking about. Unless you happen to see it when I flew over it. Um, right down there. Yeah, I think that's just um, an element. It's not water. This looks like water here, maybe. Again, I just don't think it's going to be deep enough for any critters to live in it, but we're going to stop and take a look at it anyway. Oh, there's a question mark over there. So... Let us uh, look in this water. I'm not seeing any critters show up on my scan, though, so I don't think there's going to be anything in it. Extreme Beautiful. Water, water is always really pretty. Whoa. But um, there's, there's no critters in here. Sadly. No critters. No, nope. it's very nice and peaceful under here. It's pretty neat. Alright, well, I mean... I wanted to find water and I found it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the critters in it that I hoped it would. Extreme water toxicity detected. Something over here. Let's see if we can find what uh, this thing was referring to. I hope you saw what I'm talking about. So I do a zoom and then I scan. And these little dots show up. See that? Those are critters. But these critters are probably just land critters over here. Yeah, there's no water over here, so... Those critters... 
those critters have moved on. Yeah, it might have even been this little guy here. All right, let's um, let's get back in our ship again. We'll just fly around a little bit. Keep doing this. Just look for low-lying areas and uh, see if we can't find some deeper water. It is really neat that on this predominant by planet there are areas of water. That is completely unexpected. See, here's a little bit of water here. Just a little puddle. But I feel compelled to look in it. Because I think that's where we're going to find our next critters. Well, he's near the water, but we've already seen him. Not seen any critters in the water. They should show up on a scan. Yes, yes. Extreme water toxicity. Blah, 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 blah. No life in this water. I mean, I really wonder if I'm missing something, you know? Like, if it's like... Like, this thing's alive and I don't realize it, you know? Like, this is actually a critter. Pretty sure it's not. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not. Ow. I'm supposed to land in water. Oh. I forgot about my protections here. Better fix that right away. Probably gonna drown. Oh, wow, I must be out of uh, iron. Well, gosh, man, I don't know what to do. I feel like if I leave this planet, the counter will reset. But holy cow, I don't wanna spend that many more days on, uh, on this planet. The planet isn't that great, let's face it. This Callion better be worth something. All of it that I've picked up. I guess it really isn't that much, but still. I'm devoting space to it. Where's this question mark? There's a question mark over here. Let's go take a look at it. Uh, okay, there's nothing interesting about it here. One of the save points. I don't need to stop there. Boy, my computer is not happy. The heck. Then my computer wants to leave this planet. Tell me something. <laughs> Uh, screw it. I'm out of here. I'm leaving this planet, man. I'm not going to spend any more time on it. The counter resets. The counter resets. Let's go to this, um... Space anomaly that this thing keeps telling me about. And, uh, we'll see if Nada and or Polo has anything new they want to say to us. Let's go check it out, man. So I may regret leaving that planet, but I don't think I will because, like I said, I was tired of that planet. Uh, we're close to the space station, so we gotta go super, super duper slow. Kinda 
it's like a no wake zone. There we go. Let's zip on over to the space anomaly. I, I, I thought we'd already visited it, but apparently not, huh? Is this the opening? I hope we haven't been here before. Hey guys, what's up? Long time no see. Let's talk to Specialist Polo. Do not die, friend. A waste of data. He, no joke. I would miss you so. Whatever tension there once was between us now seems a distant memory. Polo and I greet each other like best friends, trusted companions in our ongoing adventure among the stars. I know the Gek has a secret, but I trust that it will be shared with me in time. For now, Polo encourages me to become the ultimate explorer, to push myself to the limits. There are places out there that none can survive in. Perhaps I, and I alone, can. Would you look at this? This is what he wants. He wants extreme survival level 7 or above, and we just now hit level 6. Can you leave that crap? <sighs> oh well. Let's see what this guy has. Probably nothing useful. Yes, yes, we've already read this. He doesn't say anything new anymore. Uh, let's get some resources. He gives us a gift, probably something we already had. He's probably re a re-gifter. Alright, let's get out of here. So, uh, let's fly over to the space station and sell off a lot of this crap we've got. And, um... Then we'll go look for another extreme planet. We'll look for a different one. Spend some time on. Okay, space station right here. Alright, now to figure out how to get in. This is a really weird looking space station, huh? How does one get in it? There we go. Got lucky that time. Nice. Alright, let's sell some stuff. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Hello, hello. Sell items. I have many items to sell. Many on my starship. Uh, let's see here. Let's sell these Corvax Convergence Cubes, Daggers, Gek Charm, Fascination Bead, Gek Relic, and what else? I guess that's it. Anything on my suit I want to sell? Gek Nip, I don't need that. Callium, I don't think I need that for anything. Uh, it's very rare, it says. I don't know, I might store that. As soon as I sell, sell it, I'm going to find out I need it for something. Alright. Now we sold some stuff. So if we're going to go to a different system, we're going to need uh, warp cells. Right, which one of these ships are mine? This one.
I guess I didn't have to jump in my ship. Okay, I do have one warp cell. We're going to use it to charge our hyperdrive. I'm going to fly out here. And, um, do I, well, I don't know. I went through the trouble of charging that. Let's, uh, let's follow the path to the center. It looks like a yellow star. This also looks like a yellow star. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, another class G. These are all class G's. Yellow. Yep. What's this thing looking for? Now I'm not seeing any further. Let's just go here. The yellow star. I don't know if we'll see any, find any extreme planets here. Uh oh. Aw oh, man. Some kind of space battle going on. I'm not interested in that. Um, but man, I'm right in the middle of it, aren't I? Space battle. I don't I don't feel like fighting in a space battle. And there's local enemies. Alright, whatever. Fine, I'll I'll help you. Problem is, I think I'm like out of iron, so I don't have anything to charge my uh, shields with. Man. Hostile ships approaching. Ouch. Yeah. See, I um, I do have a lot of iron. Sentinel interceptors? Why? Did I accidentally hit a sentinel? What's going on here? Ah, crap. I must have accidentally hit sentinels. What am I shooting now? I don't know. Let's get this guy now. I love this cannon I got. It's pretty awesome. I don't know, I'm just blasting everything. There's a lot of ships out of here still. Got one of them. Alright, I killed somebody. I guess it wasn't an attack ship. Aw, oh, man. I don't want to fight Sentinels. Sentinel starships incoming. Those Sentinels hit hard, man. They hit real hard. Well, I defeated the attack ships, but now I've got Sentinels on my case. Oh, we asked for it. Ah, uh -huh, you're dead. Now what? Where's this pain in the butt? Right over here? Now what? Anybody else want some of this? Let's go pick this up. More Sentinels incoming? More? I'm gonna fight more. Can I get out of here? No. Fine. I'll blast you out of the sky too. Uh huh, you're dead. Get some trophium. Yay, trophium and a neutron neutrino. Oh, a couple. More sentinels? What the hell, man? Alright, what's this planet got on it? Ugh. Alright. More sentinels. Better charge of this. I 
do I shut these guys up? Get out of here. This place sucks. I'm leaving. This system sucks. I hate it. All I'm finding are Class G's. This looks like an interesting one. No, this is also Class G. Hyperdrive has no fuel. Well, son of a gun. Talk on it. Better do something about that. Uh, so I need to make um, warp cell. No problem. Hyperdrive charge. Charge to bring up my map. And um, let's go here. This is a nice, pretty blue star. I think. It looks blue to me. Well, it did. It's class B. Let's go here. I don't know, just for the heck of it. I like how the sky is blue in these systems. It's pretty. So there's only two planets here. Let's see if either one of them is worth a damn. Wasaka Inda. Fervidium Cymatogen? Nickel and Heridium. There's an abandoned building on this planet. I don't really care about that. Um, abandoned buildings suck. And then this planet, Vortex Cubes, Cymatogen, Vortex Cubes. Do I want Vortex Cubes? Uh, I don't think I do. I think if I wanted to make money, what I would want would be like pearls, right? I think. But I don't even know if I care about making money anymore, to tell you the truth. Um, hmm, what do I want to do? Do I, want to, do I want to go to either one of these planets? Now I'm wondering if I shouldn't uh, be spending my time trying to finally max out my ship. You know? Oh, I don't have any fuel. Let's go ahead and do that again. Bring this up. Craft. No. Craft. Warp cell. Hyperdrive. Charge. Bring up my map. Let's just go from system to system. And, um... We will see if we can't find a transmission tower. And then try to find more ships. Because I'm not done yet. I'm, I'm only... My ship only has 46 slots. And I'd like to get to 48. Trading post detected. So, once I've once I've scanned and I found and I don't find a trading post or not trading post and I don't find uh, transmission tower, we'll just jump someplace else. I think this is how it works. Because if I scan again, it's just going to tell me the same thing, right? Like it it can only scan one thing at a time. I think in the whole system. I think. Like, once it finds that trading post, if I keep scanning, it's never going to tell me about anything else. It's only going to tell me about the trading post, so... I think we just need to go to a different system. There's a space anomaly. That's not going to do me any good. They're not going to talk to me, because I haven't gotten my extreme survival up high enough. Uh, trading post. Okay. Another trading post. That sucks. Okay, we'll go to the next system. Go here. One planet. No. Nope. Uh, all it takes is one planet. Green sky. Scan. Transmission tower detected. Okay, finally. Where is this transmission tower? Must be on one of the moons, huh? Where is it? 
It is on this moon. Okay, cool. Let's go here. Oh wow, okay, so it also told me about a manufacturing facility. Okay, so there we go. You can find more than one thing at a time. To the transmission tower. It's been a long time since we've done this, huh? For a while there, it looked like there were going to be a bunch of rivers on this planet. But no. Oh yeah, nice land. I bet they so myself. This planet, real ma'am flats, weather snowfall, sentinels passive, flora limited, fauna frequent. Okay. Not an extreme planet. I hear lots of critters. Oh, they're flying around. Boy, it's been such a long time since I've seen a red dot. I got excited there. Scan these critters, man. Oh, that one guy... F what the heck? That was weird. That one's dead now. Did these critters fight each other? Is this one like a predator? I don't know, man. That was weird. Did you see that one fall over dead? Alright, scan this guy. Come on. There we go. Seven species left. I feel like I scanned a whole bunch of things and there's still seven left. Gender rational. Who thought up these gender names? Types. Well, that was a lot of scanning right there. And, uh... We found... No, we found... There are, what? Ten critters on this planet, and we found five of them right off, which sounds good. This would seem to me tell me that there's at least one more land critter. Let's go in this transmission tower. See if we could find ourselves a crashed ship. It's been a long time since we've done this. Long ago, it seems an automated distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. Uh, blah, I think this is 720, isn't it? It is. Distress signal coordinates discovered. And? Well, I don't know where the ship is, but it's not real close by. Alright, where's the ship? The ship... Oh gosh, is it on a different planet? I don't know, let's get out of here. New batch of critters to scan. S scan this hippo over here. Okay. Four species left. Oh wow, this place is crazy. Huh. Seen a red dot there, but I'm not. Must be on the other side of this rock, maybe? Let's see if we could find this guy. Where is he? Where is this guy? Still way over there. Okay, let's try him. Cool. Oh, still a red dot. Try this guy. Okay. Found seven of ten. 
Anybody else? You. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, brother. Anybody else? Anyone? Oh, there's another red over there. Come on, let's go get it. It wasn't you, was it? Somewhere over here, another red. You, big guy? You with the big body and the tiny head? Eight of ten? Yeah, keep it up, man. Let's just cruise through this. Two species left. I think these critters are killing the other critters. I've never seen that happen before. I really haven't. Interesting. Can't believe how long I... Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> He's on top of that heridium. Oh, crap. You're not going to kill me. Kill you. Here, how do you like that? Yeah, go ahead. Try to take a bite out of me. So we've found eight of ten species right off the bat. But you know how that goes. Now you're like, oh man, this could be easy to find all the critters on this planet. And then you never find the last two. And then you go to bed at night, heartbroken, crying yourself to sleep. I mean, I don't do that. I mean, you know, you might do that. If, if you do, it's okay. I mean, I'm not judging or anything. Whoa, oh, it's gonna hurt. Ugh. Did hurt. Holy cow. I just suddenly got very hungry. Not that you even care one bit. But, uh, yeah, man. Just all of a sudden, <laughs> I was like, man, I want to eat some food. <laughs> I had to wrap up this session to get me something to eat. Man, that came on quick. Anyway. Uh, let's get back up here to our ship. Look at this big dude walking around, man. These guys are cute. Look at all these little dudes. Oh, look at that guy. He's flying. Holy cow. Please don't eat me. Temperament docile. <laughs> it just cracks me up. Oh, that guy killed that guy. Sheesh. I, I cannot believe I've never seen that before. I really can't. I mean, maybe I've seen it and I just didn't notice it. So that's a possibility, right? see what our thing our list looks like now okay so it's got these two which I haven't seen any flying dudes so as far as I know every single one of these critters oh no I take that back I have seen some flying dudes haven't I some dudes that kind of hover Let's see is this one of them yeah this guy kind of flies he is the uh, Mihenu Biblat he's right here this guy is above him. This guy, the Kahaminu, is above him. Okay, this guy's also a flyer. Oh no, this is the same one. Oh, they're both. Okay, these are both the Mihenio blah blah. This guy does not fly. He is an Ismosu. Okay, he's above it. What I'm doing is I'm looking here. I know he's a flyer, so I would expect everything above him to be on land, but I would also expect everything below him to also be flyers. Um, so I'm trying to get confirmation of that. So this guy, he's up at the top. Lizanar, okay, see, right here. This pretty much to me would seem to prove that these are really not in any kind of order. Because he's a land guy, right? He's Lizanaro Hadagopu. He's right here. But we know that Miheniu Biblat is a flyer, or at least he's a hoverer, you know? He hovers. Maybe that's, some, maybe that's different. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Whatever. See, he's a hoverer. Uh, maybe that's different than things that fly up in the sky. Could be. Could be. Um, here's a some chrysonite. We don't have enough of that, so we're gonna go ahead and slurp that up. And we're gonna go over 
over here and claim this as our own. Awesome. Okay, let's hop in our ship now. Kind of hate to leave since we saw so many critters here right off. I'm, I'm worried that I'm going to miss my opportunity to scan some of these guys, but uh, I think we got them all. Probably need to charge our thrusters, don't we? Yep, we do. Let's take off. And uh, we want to go to this um, crash ship, which is, I guess, on this planet. So let's go ahead, on this moon, let's go ahead and go up into the atmosphere. Okay. Alright. And then we will fly to this crash ship. That was neat. This moon is so small that it doesn't take long to get around on it. Puts me way over here. I told this freaking thing to land up there where the ship is. I'm gonna try that again, because that sucked. Try to land closer to the ship. Where is it? Where the heck is the ship? Alright, where are you? Where are you, ship? I guess I need to fly away and then come back. Alright, turn around. Uh, there it is. Okay. Okay, there it is. There we go. This should be a little better. That was a long drop. That's neat. I love that you can see stuff in orbit. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, let us bring up our ship and uh, we're gonna put as much stuff on our suit as we can. Oh gosh, it's not much. So, <laughs> we're not gonna put much on our on our uh, suit. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Let's check it out. This one has 47 slots. Okay. All right. Here we go. 47 slots. Wow. Uh there's a lot of stuff on this ship. Um I mean, we've got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got 24, 25, 26 free slots here. And on our current ship, we're going to need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I lost count. I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we should be able to transfer everything over. However, I want to dismantle these so I get the pieces from them. And I'm going to want to transfer that over as well. So I'm a little nervous that I'm not going to be able to take everything with me that I want to. Um, uh, how do I want to do this? Uh, shoot, um, hmm, how do I want to do this, let's see here, my suit, I'm really making the best use of my suit here, I don't need these anymore, 
So we'll dismantle these. That'll free up two more slots. Which will help some. Oops. What else could we put over here to free up a couple more slots? Uh, can we put... Um, the heck? Why did it already put something in that slot? That was weird. I didn't move anything over and it already stuck something in that slot. I mean, let's see if we can get rid of some iron. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though. That just took up both slots, didn't it? Oh, well. Well, we freed up one slot. That kind of sucks, though. Um, this karaite sheet, we can move back. Because it's already taken up a slot here anyway. So let's move this uh, zinc over. Okay. Just trying to free up as much slots as I can. Be smart about it. Um, anything else? Titanium, zinc. No. Can I move this chrysanite? I can. Okay, that's kind of cool. And what else? What else can we move? I think it's pretty good. I don't think there's anything else I could put over there. Okay, let's go ahead and dismantle these. Okay. I want to dismantle all these things. I don't think I'm going to move all this stuff over, though. Anything else I could dismantle? Oh yeah, these. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to move all this crap over, am I? I'm going to leave some of it behind. Here's our new ship. Compare. Alright. Alright, what can I move over? What do I really, really want to move over? Well, I definitely want these dynamic resonators. Definitely want those, right? Um, nickel. Aluminum. Emerald. Copper. I think this is the stuff that we need to recreate our warp reactors or to repair them. Um, what else do we need? Probably gold. Maybe iridium. More gold. Uh, we'll take the Omega on because it's expensive. And, um, let's see, titanium maybe. And then I've got a ton of platinums. I don't want to leave that behind. Okay. I think... I don't know. Let's see what happens. Iron, I could always get more of. Carbon, I could always get more of. Trophium, I don't care about. I'm just going to sell it. Uh, I like having these. So I could quickly craft... Um, warp cells. Karite cheats are good. You need those. To repair things. I'll take the suspension fluid. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots left. What do we take? What do we take? Well, I take this bunch of plutonium. Um, and... And we'll take the voltaic cells. We'll take the thamium. We'll take, um... That's a lot of carbon, but do I really need it? I can always get more carbon. I don't need that. Neutrino modules I might need to repair something. And... Three more slots. Three more. What do I take? I take... Um, zinc is kind of a pain in the butt to find. Chrysonite I might need for something. And we'll take uh, this um, that trophium. I don't. I don't need it. Iron. I could always get more of plutonium. I could always get more of. But what if this is a planet that doesn't have plutonium on it? Okay. So I'm gonna leave this stuff behind. Okay. I think we did pretty good. All right. Here's our new ship. Go over here. Oh no, there's not a save point here, is there? Let's hop in our ship. 
and then hop back out. Okay, just to save. Okay, let's start repairing. We need to repair our uh, pulse engine, and we have the stuff to do that, so let's go ahead and repair it. We need to repair our hyperdrive, and we can. We need to repair our launch thrusters. Uh, we'll need another karite sheet for that. And I don't have a slot for it. Um, here's a warp reactor sigma. Which I could repair. Okay. This I don't need. Dismantle this. Um, here's warp reactor theta. That's working. Okay, so I've got two. I've got warp reactor sigma and warp reactor theta working. I do not have warp reactor tau, it looks like. I'm going to want that. So I can make it back to uh, blue systems, right? But uh, I need to fix my launch thruster first, so let's make a karite sheet. Repair that. Okay. Deflector shield, probably a good idea. We need three karite sheets for that. One. Two. Three. Repair that. Very good. Okay. Exciting. Um, what else do we need? This thing. I don't know if I care about this stuff. Increased maneuverability and longer boosts during space flight. I don't think I care about that stuff, really. Beam. I'm not going to be using my face beam. Let's get rid of this stuff. Uh, beam impact. I don't care. Beam impact. I don't care. Uh, cooling. For photon cannon, photon cannon. This, I don't want it to be here. If I do make it, I want it to be over there so I could line it all up. Uh, same thing with these things. I want these to be in line with my photon cannon. So we'll get rid of these things too. Yeah, we'll get rid of all this. Okay, and this thing, we don't need it. Well, I could just do it and dismantle it. Here, I don't need that. Okay, well that was fast. Uh, the only thing missing is um, warp reactor tau. And I need two more dynamic resonators and a bunch of nickel and aluminum for that, so that kind of sucks. But that's what happens when you go looking for other ships, huh? But... Uh, we're up to 47 slots, which is pretty exciting. And, um, I guess now what we could do is fly back up to, um, space, do another scan and see if we find ourselves another transmission tower. Uh, but we'll do that next time I'm going to end my play session. As I said, I'm hungry. I'm going to get some to eat. Uh, so yeah, next time we'll come back and, um, we will go back into space uh, maybe go to other systems in search of uh, transmission towers for that uh, final 48 slot ship. And then once we have uh, 48 slots, we'll decide what to do after that. As always, I am open to suggestions. I thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me again in the next episode.